Welcome back for another video. Join me on a Monday afternoon as we're heading into town to start our shift. It's just gone 20 past two, so we should be in town in about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic. Hopefully we can hit the ground running and have a good day. Mondays can be a little bit slow at times. That being said, sometimes a lot of cab drivers take a Monday off, so you never know, could be in for a good day. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Ollie, I'm a London cabbie. If you do like this type of content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. If you do like the video as well, please hit the thumbs up button. It's really appreciated. Other than that, let's have a good day. So you see from the video, Canary Wolf's completely cabbed out. Cabs everywhere, orange lights on. As we're driving around, we've had an app request come through from nearby Orchard Place. It's going to Selfridges. Absolutely perfect to get paid from here all the way in. This particular app, there is no commission on it. We're not going to pay a penny in commission. A full meeting fare goes to me. For those that do know the different apps, out of the two pound booking fee the customer has to pay, any profits will go to charities. There's five charities. I'm not going to name the app on here. I'm not sponsored in any way, so I'm not going to leave myself open to anything on that. But yeah, cab drivers, if you're not already aware, sign up to one of the apps. This one here, you pay no commission on it. You get a full meeting fare. And on this one, you get paid to run in as well. So our meter's already on. We're getting paid to drive there. 100% of the fare, full meter fare, no commission. We can't complain. Happy days. And before I forget, at the end of this video, there will be a breakdown of all the stats I've got from today's shift. So from Canary Wharf, it's only a two or three minute drive and we find ourselves on Orchard Place. From here, once the customer's on board, we get ourselves back out of Orchard Place onto the Lower Lee Crossing. Apply Lima Circus, Leave by Aspen Way and then use the Lime House link. Go forward highway, forward East Smithfield. As we cross Tower Bridge on the left hand side, we'll go forward Tower Hill, forward Lower Thames Street, forward Upper Thames Street, forward Blackfriars Underpass, and then forward Victoria Embankment. Unless there's serious traffic, this is pretty much the only way you're going to go. From Victoria Embankment, we get a right onto Northumberland Avenue. We'll comply King Charles I on and leave by Coxburgh Street, forward Pall Mall. Comply Palmer Circus leave by St James's Street, Ford Albemarle Street, left Stafford Street, right Dover Street, left Hayhill, right Barclay Street. We'll comply Barclay Square, where we appear to be in pretty much every episode, leave by Davis Street. And then for Selfridges, sometimes Duke Street can be a little bit slow. You can use it to set the side door. But from Davis Street, we do the right Binney Street, left Oxford Street, bang a U-turn and then set the customer down at the front door that way. So that one works out alright. Picked them up from Orchard Place by Lower League Crossing, brought them off to Selfridges. Because we got paid the running as well and no commission, balls are better off. Hour into the shift, lovely. Let's keep the wheels moving. So we found ourselves on the strand. We missed the hand going up as another cab was already pulled over. We spun ourselves around Burley Street and Exeter Street. As we come southbound, we're behind another cab with their light on and they get the fare before us. This is the third cab that's picked up directly in front of us. Surely our luck's got to change soon. We decide to head east, so we come a strand. Go forward Aldwych, forward strand. Then we get to the Royal Courts of Justice. A hand goes up on our left-hand side. We're back into another job. 
So once the customer's on board, it's a two-drop job. First drop's Matoas Road, Newington Green, just off the Newington Green roundabout. Second one is back in town, Marlebone Station. We're happy to hear that. Sometimes you drop in Stoke Newington, it's a long way back before your next fare. Now there's two ways of running this. You can either try and get yourself towards Rosebury Avenue. Rosebury Avenue and Essex Road are really, really slow, especially this time in the evening. So instead, we get ourselves along London Wall. We head up Moorgate and then just continue north up there. Provost Street, Vestry Street, East Road, New North Road. We then do the right onto Bearing Street, Southgate Road, and then pick up Newington Green from Mildmay Park that way. Seems to be moving pretty quickly. Seems to be the best option to head north, really. You definitely want to be avoiding Essex Road, especially in the daytime at least. Unfortunately, once we do drop at Newington Green, we have to use Essex Road to come southbound. For some reason, it always moves sm smoother, much faster south than it does north. And you'll see as we approach Isnit and Green on the way back to Marlebone Station, the traffic's pretty heavy, so we definitely made the right decision coming this way. So once our first customer's out here on Matthias Road, we'll do a quick U-turn, head westbound back towards Newington Green. From here we'll comply on Newington Green, leave by Newington Green Road, cross the junction of Balls Pond Road onto Essex Road, continue heading south, and we'll go forward Islington Green, forward Upper Street, forward Islington High Street, forward into the Angel. It's at a point of turning right onto Pentonville Road, Customer in the back informs us they had too many shandies on their lunch break and they wouldn't mind using the loo. So we turn onto the Hilton forecourt, customer jumps out. A couple minutes later they're back on board. And here we're heading westbound back towards Marlebone Station. Now from the hotel forecourt you're forced north on Barron Street. So we do the left onto White Lion Street, left Cynthia Street. This would then allow us to travel westbound on Pentonville Road. At the time of recording, we can't use the Pentonville Road bus lane, that is due shortly, so instead we just have to go around the King's Cross one-way system, get ourselves back out onto Grazing Road, forward Euston Road, and then forward Marlebone Road. Here we just do the right Balcombe Street, left Melcombe Place, and set a customer down just outside the Marlebone Station forecourt. Lovely, that was a nice job. Second job of the day. Second balls I had a day. Happy days. Did drive round for about 25, 30 minutes. No luck at all. Three cabs in front of us picked up customers. And just as the third one picked up, and goes up on our side of the road. Lovely. Up to Matthias Road, Newington Green, down by the Army and Navy pub. One drop there, and then one drop all the way back at Marlebone. Can't complain. Five to five now. Hopefully we get someone back on board as soon as possible. Keep the wheels going. So we found ourselves heading east on Wigmore Street. A hand goes up on the opposite side of the road. Where we are, we decide we're going to turn right onto Welbeck Street. More often than not, the customers want to head southbound. From here, we can get New Bond Street. Sod's Law. Customer jumps on board and they want to head north. Park Drive. Incredible. So we get left onto Henrietta Place, left Wimpole Street, and as we cross Rigmore Street, I tell the customer I'm going to restart the meter. 
If they would have waited for a cab on the correct side of the road, they wouldn't have had to pay the extra 40p. It's not worth charging them. It's not the correct thing to do, so we just do that. From here, we just head north, all the way up Upper Wimpole Street, Devonshire Place, left Marlebone Road, right York Gate, left Outer Circle, and then we use Macclesfield Bridge, Forward Avenue Road, left Adelaide Road, right Finchley Road, passing Swiss Cottage on our right-hand side. And then from here, you want to get into the sort of middle two lanes to go forward College Crescent, forward Fitzjohns Avenue. Now, traffic is horrendous here, and you'll see I'll slow the video down just to show you it's an absolute nightmare. I'm looking in my rearview mirror, trying to get the customer's attention because I want to turn right. You can use Bellsires Lane and Dalem Gardens, get yourself up, you can skip a bit of traffic. Just at this point now, the customer looks up and shouts, turn right. <laughs> it's like music to my ears. We do the right turn, and then the customer says, actually, I have a preferred way of going. Not a problem at all. We do exactly what the customer wants us to do. And it comes to light at the end of the journey, the customer definitely studied the knowledge of London and was either very close to or holding a green badge. We wiggle around Dalem Gardens, Wedderburn Road, Lindhurst Gardens, Lindhurst Road, Eldon Grove, Furlow Road, and then we go forward down Shire Hill. Here it's a left Willow Road, get the right at the top. You've got to be careful here because there's a no entry and you can take the wrong turning, but we get the right onto Well Walk, left Christchurch Hill, right Cannon Place. Left Squires Mount, left East Heath Road, and that'll bring us back up to Whitestone Pond. And we've jumped all the traffic, and this is the only point we sit at any traffic lights, really, or any traffic. Just this little bit here. We'll get a right onto Heath Street, forward North End Way, apply the roundabout, leave by North End Road, left onto the park, and then set a customer down there for Park Drive. We've absolutely flown up there, got no complaints. We use a variety of roads I haven't used since I was on my scooter. Job number three done. Nice job that. I see the hand go up on the other side of the road when we was on Wigmore Street. We couldn't stop on the crossing or the zigzag, so we had to do the right there. And it's sod's law. Customer wants to go north and we're facing south. So we just go round the block, get a customer on board. Once we cross back over Wigmore Street, I just restarted the meter. It went up 40p, 60p at the most, just restart it, let the customer know you're restarting it, tell them why, just so they know you're not playing games. And yeah, you, you can't go wrong, it's, it's nothing worse than thinking a cab driver taking you a long way. So we've done that anyway, it's the correct thing to do. So we come past Swiss Cottage, traffic's absolutely horrendous. I'm looking in the, in the mirror and the customer's on the phone, and I'm thinking, please, that if I want to turn right here, you're, you're going to think I'm taking you the long way. She looks up, turn right gold dust from there she had a preferred way of going and you know what we've just done it, it was, i'm more than happy with that left right left right left right i don't think we stopped until we got to whitestone pond yeah got them there it, 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 i don't know what a sat nav would have done but it wouldn't have done what we just done so i'm happy with that roads i haven't used since i was on a scooter definitely haven't driven them in the daytime quite that was a nice change just gonna head back south now come through Hampstead. got a light on we're quite a bit out of the mix, so we'll bang an app on, see if we have a bit of luck with that. Six, seven times out of ten, it does go off and you can get a job bringing you in. So fingers crossed we get something. On to the next one. So I had a look at the Royal Free Hospital, nothing, no one about. Done a lap of it, you can't stop there. So we've done a lap, no one. Come down Averstock Hill, and that pinged off, just a, a little job, just round the corner, going nowhere. We, did, we didn't bother taking it. Come down Averstock Hill, forward Chalk Farm Road, nothing. Pass around us, people about, people looking, but they're not looking for me. My light was on. Uh, there you go. From there, it's about a 10, 10 minute drive, King's Cross, bit of traffic, 15 minutes. Then you've got to wait on a rank. Instead of that, an app's pinged off just around the corner, about a two minute drive. We're going to Shoreditch High Street. So just waiting at the traffic lights before we pick our customer up now. It's like mental maths, really. Do you lose commission on a fare but have a bum on the seat quickly or do you wait go to king's cross or station queue up for a while get a customer they legal you and pay on a credit card so then you lose five percent anyway plus a transaction fee on the card machine you have to have in the back you're doing mental maths and i think 
take the app job, get myself somewhere that's going to be busy, chance of an hand going up, definitely around Shoreditch. I'll take that. We we'll lose lose a few percent on this particular app, but I need a we need a bum on the seat, you know. You don't pay the bills when you're empty, sitting in the back of a rank. You pay the bills with people on board. So get them on board as quick as we can, get the wheels turning, get them out as quick as we can, and on to the next. So once the customer's on board from Oval Road, it's one of those very basic runs. Any knowledge student, anyone can tell you, you can't really get lost. From Oval Road at the top, we do the left Gloucester Avenue, left onto Parkway. From here at Britannia Junction, we'll bear right slightly onto Greenland Road. Right Bayham Street, left Crandall Road, then we'll go forward Pancras Road. From here, we'll do the left and right past King's Cross Station. If you're coming south, you always want to use Pancras Road rather than Midland Road. Traffic's horrendous on Midland Road where everybody else has to use it. Once we go past King's Cross Station, we'll turn left onto Euston Road, forward Pentonville Road, forward the Angel, forward City Road. And then when we get to St Agnes Well, or Old Street Junction as it's also known, we'll leave by Old Street, bear right onto Great Eastern Street. We'll go past Curtin Road and Hollywell Lane and then get the left afterwards onto Shoreditch High Street where we'll set a customer down there for their destination. So once we set our customer down, we decide to have a look at Liverpool Street. We get a U-turn on Shoreditch High Street, and as we cross down forward into Bishop's Gate, a hand goes up on our left-hand side. The customer jumps on board, and they want to go to Narrow Street. It's just by the Rover Hive Tunnel there in E14. Now when the customer's on board, we should have got the left onto Middlesex Street. There was a police van blocking it, so we decide to go ahead, get the left onto Houndsditch, wiggle our way round that way. I've shown in previous videos... You don't want to use St. Botolph Street this time of the night, so we use, I believe it's New Galston Street to get ourselves out. Once we're out onto Whitechapel High Street, get a right commercial road, right onto Branch Road, passing the Rotherhive right Tunnel, and then use Narrow Street all the way round. So just as we cross the bridge here, we set a customer down on the left for Narrow Street. Job number five, Dan. Seems to be having a good day so far. Yeah, lovely. So dropped off at Shoreditch High Street. Customer wanted to go to the pub there. Happy days. Glad we've done it. After commission, customer put a little tip on the, the job as well. I think we paid £1.50, maybe less in commission. It was worth it. We drove past King's Cross anyway. Cabs were at the drop off and yeah, no one in the cage. So we've done the right thing. Done a U-turn straight away, headed towards Liverpool Street Station and a hand goes up. Just brought a customer down a narrow street. No, another nice quick job straight out. Used um it's New Gorston Street, skips with the traffic on St. Bartle Street. As we dropped off, just had a message come through, got a corporate account needs a, a job covered. So we're off to uh, Bank Street. Well, I think I started one of my first videos. Got to pick a customer up there, take him over to Piccadilly. We're back straight in the mix. Nice busy part of London when we drop off. Uh, this one said corporate on the message, so normally that's the metered fare. You used to pay a bit of commission, but sometimes it's covered in the uh, in it anyway. So a, bit, a little bit of a no-brainer. We'll take that. 
get another bum on the seat, and carry on earning money. Happy days. When we got to Bank Street, the job gets cancelled. Never mind, there's only one cab on the rank, and as we look in our mirror, they've pulled off, so we do a U-turn, put a light on. We're only there two or three minutes, and a hand goes up. Customer jumps on board, and they walk West Ferry Road. He's right behind us. It's probably a little bit too far to walk, but yeah, we're never going to broom the job. Just do a U-turn, comply here in Key Circus lead by West Ferry Road. When you get to the Space Theatre, we turn right and then set them down at their destination. We're about a tenner better off. We can't complain. And again, two or three minutes later, we're back at Canary Wharf, back into the mix for another job. <laughs> Typical. Bench is still a corporate job. Get there, wait one minute, it gets cancelled. Got weighed out for it anyway. Um, not what a metre would have gone, but yeah, we got weighed out, so you can't complain really. While we're sitting there, the only cab on point pulled off the rank opposite, so we've done a U turn, banged the light on, had a customer jump in. Just wanted West Ferry Road, round the corner. Shown in previous videos, you never broom a job, don't ever broom a job. So it took them there, quick tenner, uh, heading back to Canary Wharf now. Probably have a look at JP Morgan again, we'll jump back on the rank. A couple orange lights drove past us getting there, but the, the footfall were people walking past. We might have a bit of luck. It's a bit cabbed out. We'll start heading into town. But yeah, we, we can't complain. Can't complain. Evening's still going well. So as we get into Canary Wharf, we find ourselves heading towards Churchill Place. And as we get there, right outside Barclays, a hand goes up. A customer jumps on board and they want to go to Carlisle Square, Chelsea. What a touch. This job gets us right across London. I believe it's about 7 o'clock in the evening now, so it's getting to that quieter time. And yeah, we're happy to have someone on board. Pays us to go all the way in. From Churchill Place, we get ourselves round, get back out onto Aspen Way. And the same as we did earlier for our first job. Limehouse Link, forward the highway, forward East Smithfield, forward Tower Hill, forward Bywood Street, forward Lower Thames Street, forward Upper Thames Street, forward Blackfriars Underpass and forward Victoria Embankment. Instead of turning right Northumberland Avenue, we follow the river down to Big Ben. We use Parliament Square, lead by Broad Sanctuary and forward Victoria Street. We go forward Grove in the Gardens, left Hobart Place, forward Eaton Square, forward Eaton Gate, forward Cliveden Place. Comply Sloan Square, lead by Kings Road, right Old Church Street and then a right into Carlisle Square. We will start the video a little bit short, we don't want to show the customer getting to the home address. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Um, after the West Ferry Road, went back over to Canary Wharf. Done a little lap, thought we'd try our luck, and yeah, by Barclays, and goes up. Customer jumps on board, and they want Carlisle Square, just up Old Church Street, Chelsea. Lovely. It's that time of the night where it's quite dead in town. Um, most people are where they need to be, so a job like that has really helped out. Can't complain. <laughs> Just thought I was going to get a hand go up there as I was recording this, but no, nah, they're looking for a bus or something. Typical. So we found ourselves on Chesham Place. As we go past the Harry Hotel on our right, hands go up on our left hand side. Three fellas jump on board and they want to go to Seven Dials Market on Earlham Street. Another nice quick job. This time of the night shouldn't take us too long to do it. So from Chesham Place, we'll comply Belgrave Square, leave by Grove and the Crescent. Left Grosvenor Place, right at Hyde Park Corner, forward Piccadilly. We'll go forward Piccadilly Circus, forward Shaftesbury Avenue, forward Cambridge Circus, and again forward Shaftesbury Avenue. We'll then do the right turn onto Mercer Street, comply Seven Dials, leave by Earlham Street, and then set a customer down on the left for Seven Dials Market.
So after setting our customers down here on the left for Seven Dials Market, we want to get out of Covent Garden as quickly as we got in. We found ourselves on Bedford Street, and as we do the left onto Strand, a hand goes up, and before the customer gets on board, you know exactly where they're going. Waterloo Station. They're walking that way. <laughs> it's always the way. They're always going to Waterloo if they put your hand up there. So we get them in, we explain we can't do the right over Waterloo Bridge, and we're not going to U-turn over the double white lines. So when you get to the junction of Kingsway, we well, U-turn there. It is legal. You will upset people, but Sodom, we've got money to make. From here, it's just straight over Waterloo Bridge. Comply the IMAX roundabout, leave by Waterloo Road, and a customer asks for this entrance so they can get into McDonald's. Do the U-turn outside the Duke of Wellington, set them down. That's job number nine done. Happy days. So after Carlisle Square, went for a drive for a little while, didn't have much luck. Found itself heading east towards Belgrave Square. And goes up, a couple of fellas jump on board on Covent Garden at Seven Dials Market on Earlham Street. We got them in, off we went. Ten minutes later we're dropping them off. Lovely, nice quick job. That one can be, it can be a bit annoying at times. It's, you're going through Covent Garden, traffic can be really heavy. But dropping them off quarter past eight, twenty past eight in the evening, there's no traffic. It's lovely. It's probably the best time of day to, to travel around London. From there, a little drive, got ourselves out onto the Strand heading eastbound. As we're approaching Savoy, a hand goes up, and you know exactly where the customer's going. You just know, they're walking that way, they're going to Waterloo. Anyone on the knowledge, all cab drivers know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's straightforward, but you've got to keep it legal. We explain to the customer what we're going to do. We go up to Aldwych, in front of Bush House and Kingsway, we do a U-turn there. It lets us get a legal way back to go over Waterloo Bridge to set our customer down opposite the Duke of Wellington pub. They're in the station, we're a tenner better off. We ain't got to worry about any dodgy tickets coming through. On to the next one. So after dropping Waterloo, we went for a little bit of a drive, didn't have much luck. So we went for one of our usual haunts, where we always look to get a gown home job. After about 5-10 minutes, we get a ping. We've got an Essex job, we're more than happy with that, we're getting paid to go home. So at the end of my shift, I got home about quarter past ten in the evening, started at ten past two. Here I've done 106 miles in total. It's quite average for most cab drivers, we average about 100 miles a day, generally between 10 and 12 miles per hour. So we didn't charge the cab before our shift today, we run it on petrol, and the next day when we filled it up, £19. It's about average really, between £15 and £30, depends on how many miles you do. Yeah, £19 for 106 miles. In total, we've done 10 jobs slash fares. Not a bad day. We always like to turn over more customers. The more customers you have, the more money you earn. But yeah, 10 ain't too bad for this time of year. Now, if you have got this far in the video, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Over the last few weeks where I've been uploaded, the comments have been brilliant. It's been really nice and refreshing to wake up in the morning or get home from a long day at work and see loads of nice comments on the uh, on the YouTube videos. It is really appreciated, thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so, it really does help out. And if you have liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button as well. Again, thank you very much for watching, it's really, really appreciated. Thank you, be lucky.